Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the factor of safety against quicksand condition in a soil deposit. I have been given a problem which states that a contractor plans to dig an excavation as shown in the figure. Okay, if the river is at a level A, we have to find the factor of safety against uh, quick conditions uh, by neglecting any vertical shear and we have to find uh, that what elevation can the water rise before a quick sand condition will uh, develop okay and also for the part b uh, excavation uh, given is same as shown in the figure uh, with uh, water depth equal to 18 meter that is at level a and uh, the unit weight of clay is 18.79 kilonewton per meter cube we have to calculate the minimum allowable height of clay for the uh, quicksand condition not to develop okay uh, okay so you can see this contractor it is removing this portion of the clay and we have to uh, in the first case we have to find that uh, uh, to what elevation can the water rise on this right hand side before a quicksand condition will develop on this left hand side okay and we have to find the factor of safety against the quicksand condition for the given situation okay so for part a okay uh, we know that a quick sand condition develops in the soil when the effective stress in the soil becomes zero okay so for quick sand condition to develop effective stress in this soil should become uh, zero okay so for effective stress to be equal to zero it means that total stress minus the pore water pressure should be equal to zero okay so we will calculate the total stress at the bottom of the clay and also the pore water pressure at this level okay and they should be uh, equal for the quick sand condition to develop okay so total stress minus pore water pressure should be equal to zero which will give us effective stress equal to zero so total stress at the bottom of the clay is equal to unit weight of clay uh, multiplied by the depth of clay and pore water pressure is equal to unit weight of uh, water multiplied by the uh, uh, head of the water which will cause the quicksand condition okay the present head is 18 meter but we have to find the head which will cause the quicksand condition to develop in this clay okay so unit weight of clay for the first part it is given as 19.62 kilonewton per meter cube and the height of the clay uh, is uh, 10 meter you can see the contractor has removed this 20 meter uh, depth of clay and only 10 meter depth of clay is left so uh, depth of clay is 10 meter unit weight of water is 9.81 and we have to find the head uh, of water which will cause the quicksand condition in the clay to develop okay so h quick it will be equal to 196.2 divided by 9.81 which is equal 20 meter okay so you can see for the quicksand condition uh, to develop in this clay deposit head uh, of water should be equal to uh, 20 meter but the present head of water here is 18 meter it means this uh, clay deposit is safe against quicksand condition or uh, in other words we can say water uh, will have to rise up to the depth of 20 meter before a quicksand condition will develop okay and the factor of safety against quicksand condition for the given case is uh, fs is equal to uh, the head of, uh, for the quicksand condition to develop divided by the actual head of water so it is equal 20 divided by 18 which is equal to 1.11 is the factor of safety against the quicksand condition for the present case okay in this case when the water level is at a height of 18 meter quicksand condition will not develop okay but for the next case uh, we have to uh, find the minimum allowable soil depth for the quicksand condition not to develop that is we have to take factor of safety equal to one that is uh, it should be uh, the um, the height of the clay should be just as the quicksand condition not to develop okay so we have to find minimum allowable soil depth okay in this case we have to find this depth okay so again for this case uh, total stress should be equal to pore uh, water pressure or uh, effective stress should be equal to zero so unit weight of clay multiplied by the height of the clay should be equal to unit weight of water multiplied by the head of the water okay so unit weight of clay in this case is 18.79 kilonewton per meter cube we have to find the head of the uh, so we have to find this uh, this depth of the clay okay that is hc 
a unit rate of water is 9.81 and in this case the uh, head of the water it is already given at a level a that is 18 meter okay so solving for hc it will be equal to 176.58 divided by 18.79 which is equal to 9.4 meter okay so when the depth of the clay on this left hand side will be equal to 9.4 meter we will get a factor of safety equal to one against the quicksand condition okay okay so this is how you can uh, calculate the factor of safety against the quicksand condition okay i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you still have doubts regarding this question uh, or any a problem uh, any problem of uh, quicksand condition you can write it in the comment box i will try my best to clear your doubts okay and if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned